Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll discuss the descent planning. So how we know when can we start our en route descent to our destination. There are several ways to calculate the en route descent. This depends on the availability of some aircraft equipment, engine types and other situations. Here I'm gonna make it very simple. I will give you my two favorite methods. The first method is based on time to destination or Y point. The second method is based on distance to destination or Y point. Let's start with the first method which works better with the small airplanes with piston engines. So the first step is to determine an adequate vertical speed that you're gonna use for your planned in route descent. You can find this in the aircraft documents and instructions. This is usually the recommended rate of descent for passengers comfort. Or you can simply google it. Let's say for example I'm looking for the descent rate of Cessna 172. Simply type the phrase Cessna 172 rate of descent. And as you can see here in my search result it says that it's approximately 450 feet per minute. The second step is to calculate the altitude to be lost. Let's say for instance we are flying at 8000 feet and we want to descend to 500 feet MSL which is our airport destination elevation. In this case the altitude to be lost will be 8000 minus 500 which results in 7500. Taking the previous example of Cessna 172 rate of descent which is approximately 450 feet per minute and I will round it to 500 to make my mental math easier. So here to find the time required to fly the en route descent we divide our altitude to be lost for instance it's 7500 by the rate of descent and for instance it's 500 and we get 15 minutes. So we're gonna start our descent at least 15 minutes before reaching our destination. Now let's see the second method which is based as I said on distance to destination. The first step is to calculate the altitude exactly as we did with the first method and I'm gonna use the same example and if you remember it was 7500. Now the rule is to multiply the altitude to be lost in thousands unit by 3 and the result will be the distance required in order to fly the profile to destination. On this example we multiply 7.5 by 3 and we get 22.5 miles. So we need to start our descent at least 22.5 miles before reaching our destination. But here we can ask this question but at what rate of descent I'll perform my descent and here is the formula just multiply your ground speed by 5 to get the required rate of descent let's say for example we are flying at 200 knots ground speed if we multiply 200 by 5 for instance the descent rate will be 1000 feet per minute so in this example we're gonna start our descent at least 22.5 miles to our destination with 1000 feet per minute rate of descent. And this completes this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.